like the Xbox 360 before, and the PlayStation 2 before then, the PlayStation 4 has almost unanimously won this generation's console battle. Why? Because Sony's exquisite box was phenomenal from the get-go, featuring a smooth interface, more power, and, most importantly, some excellent console exclusives. The Xbox One has barely been able to compete, however, that HASNT stopped Microsoft giving their console one last go, revamping the whole system and pushing 4K support. Once known as Project Scorpio, the new console has finally been released onto the world under the title Xbox One X competing against the PS4 Pro, the X costs in £100 more than Sony's console, taking the total price to £450. For those extra pounds, gamers are treated to a more powerful processor, a few more teraflops of graphical power, and 12GB GDDR5 compared to 8GB GDDR5. In other words, Microsoft's machine has a lot more power under the hood making 4K gaming all the better, for many gamers, though, that won't matter. How many people realistically own a 4K TV at the moment over here at The Independent, barely anyone has one. None of my friends do. So, what's the point in upgrading without one that question weighs even heavier when you consider there are 0x exclusive games, they're all playable on the standard console. Again, what's the point the Xbox One X Microsoft first off, the X runs exactly how the initial Xbox One should have. Whereas the first version had multiple problems, the X runs smoothly, intuitively, and quickly loading times are down, the interface works well finally, and there's no serious lag minus one occasion when downloading 5 games while playing Destiny 2. Thanks to that extra power and an improved ventilating system, the X runs like an absolute dream, even for extensive play sessions. Games that are X-enhanced, also look remarkably better. So far, reviewers have had free run on patched versions of Gears of War 4 and Halo 5, two already phenomenal-looking games that looks even better on the upgraded console. Playing on a merely HD TV, they are both stunning, particularly Gears. Thanks to super sampling, the 1080p versions look better on X than other Xbox consoles, the textures having improved and more details being visible. The inside of the Xbox One X Microsoft these updated games are a cut above the rest. The console's power helps everything run smoothly, decreasing loading times and making switching between gameplay and the home menu much better. We eagerly await the rollout of more enhanced patches. According to Microsoft, there will be over 70 available at launch. This piece will update where applicable when available, then there's 4K play, the selling point for many potential buyers. Like how Cinemagoers had to adjust to watching The Hobbit in cinemas due to increased frame rate, playing the X on a 4K screen takes a few moments to adapt. As you would expect, everything pops at the higher resolution, the graphics looking excellent and the frame rate barely dropping. Again, Gears 4 looks even better on a 4K screen even if we had to borrow that 4K screen from a friend for the review. Really, to make the most out of the new console, yeah I'll need an improved TV, one of the key problems to have arisen so far is the hard drive size. The originally Xbox One only came with 500 gigabytes, which seemed relatively small at the time. Now, with something like Gears of War 4 taking up 100 gigabytes, a terabyte hard drive will be filled remarkably quickly. For those with slow internet connection, updating these games will be a hassle, probably requiring you to leave the Exxon overnight. There's also the dashboard, which, as mentioned above, has improved drastically since launch. Still, there is Microsoft's need to push the live game streaming service mixer onto the world, something that's completely unnecessary for most gamers. On to how the console looks. With a matte black finish, the X looks great. The box also feels dense, being heavier than the PS4 Pro while feeling much sturdier. Size-wise, the X marks another drastic decrease on the chunky, original Xbox One. The new ventilating system, which uses a vapor chamber system, also means the console doesn't make as much noise. Thanks to these upgrades, the Xbox One X just about snatches the title of best console available on the market when considering the sheer power of the machine. However, you still have the issue of the Xbox One's back catalog, unless you're a Halo fan, there's just no competing with the games available on PlayStation. Still, if you want the best experience playing Call of Duty World War II on a console, look no further than the X weather that's worth the upgrade remains debatable. More about Xbox One X, Xbox One, PS4 Pro, PS4 reuse content.